Yeah, it's your boy Slim the Fox back at it with another review. And I know y'all wondering, come on, man, Slim the Fox done just straight up forgot about doing movie reviews. He just done left him alone. Nah, I'm still in it to win it. Yeah, no. All right, so let's get to the movie review on this movie called Trap. Trap starts with a dad taking his daughter to a concert. And he starts noticing like, yo, what's up with all the police pr presence at the concert? What's going on? What's what the business is? Like, what, what's up with this? But he blows it off because, you know, it's a, it's a mega star they come to going to see, a mega star singer. So he just like, okay, it's probably, you know, the extra attention because this is a mega star I'm taking my daughter to go see. So as the concert goes on, like, then in the middle of the concert, he noticed extra police and FBI popping up. So he's like, what the? Like, yo, what the, what's going on? This is getting kind of this peculiar here. So he goes out and befriends like, a, a worker at a vendor, vendor box, you know, who's selling T-shirts. So, you know, the T-shirt vendor basically is like, yo, the police, the FBI, this, they say a serial killer might be here. And they set up this whole concert as like a trap for him. So he starts to panic like, yo, what, what, what the, because you come to find out he's a serial killer. You know, he's living that double life. You know, he'll find a man on one end, he'll serial kill on the other. So basically the rest of the move, the, the first half of the movie is him trying to get out the concert and, you know, out of the grass of the police. So let's get straight to it and get straight to the point. The good. Josh Harnett as the serial killer, he did his thing. His acting was dope. I mean, he did, he did, he definitely was dope on the acting tip. You know, he almost made you feel sorry for the, Form as a serial killer at certain points when he was getting caught. I mean, he made you feel bad for him. That's how good his acting was in this movie. The daughter acting was cool. She wasn't an annoying teenage daughter. You know, a couple of times she was, but overall her acting was good. I have nothing bad to say about her. The singer, the, the singing lady acting, you know what I mean, young lady acting was cool. She did her thing. I mean, it, the, the acting all together in this movie was good. The bad. Yeah, the story, man. The first part, the concert part, when he was trapped in, that was good. That was real good. But when he got out of the concert, it's like the story started crumbling a little bit. It, it started getting long-winded, real long in the tooth. Like the part when the singer locking herself in the bathroom and she checking on the dude that, that the serial killer got locked in the basement instead of hitting the police up first. Like, yo, what the? Come on now. That, that's a little too unbelievable. And I ain't no serial killer. I don't even try to pretend like I know the mind of, the, of a serial killer. You know, I read the little books, whatever we all do. But how are you going to escape the police the first time? And the first thing you do is get in the car, the, the, the single car as the limo driver and try to get back at her, knowing that you're a popular singer and that the police going to be on you quick for even trying that. So I thought that was unbelievable, too. That's why I say it was, it was some long-winded, unbelievable parts once they get out of the concert. It was some even some unbelievable parts in the concert part, but at least it all like came together real good, and I enjoyed that first half. But like I said, the second half was a little long-winded. But overall, though, I thought it was a cool little flick. Um, I'm going to give Trap 2.5 concerts out of 5. Check it out if you get a chance. It's your boy, Slim the Flock, signing out. Peace.